thank you guys for 100 subscribers. I, uh, I didn't think I would get that many, to be honest. I mostly just would post my gameplay for, uh, people to watch, like my friends and stuff. And then I just started posting my Hellember gameplay, because I know there's not a lot of Hellember mains out there that post on YouTube and stuff. But you guys, you guys like it, so thank you for watching my shitty videos. I know they're not high quality or anything like other people's with like editing and stuff like that. But you know, maybe, maybe that's a good thing, you know, just keep things simple. You know, just gameplay and narrate it. So thank you guys for watching my videos. Oh, got some gameplay. Let's see. It's Lakeside. I think I brought insolence. Yep, I brought insolence. We got an explorer, painter, first officer, mechanic. Pretty good team comp. Um, I don't. I still need to memorize the spawns on Lakeside. So I head to this corner cipher because I know it's unsafe. Because there's not a lot of room for them to run to. I find scratch marks, and I found mechanic, which is super duper good. Found mechanic at a super unsafe cipher. It's a free hit. She's heading to the walls. Doesn't throw the pallet. I'm surprised at that. Able to do this trick. Now she's dead. I would have thrown that pallet. Now I got a super early down. But I don't have any fire to camp with. So I need to build up some fire. I find Explorer. I was going to try and find Mechanic Stall. That trick doesn't work that time. But it's alright. I forced him to rescue early. It's a super early rescue at 5 ciphers. It's fine. I got two people not decoding. And I hit her here. She doesn't body block her back. So now I'm at full presence. I got two fire. I forget what I'm doing here. I think I blink here and get him. Yeah. Switch with the red puppet. So now I got a puppet at explore. So I can go pick him up. Break this pallet. I know mechanics not self-healing. Mechanics normally don't self-heal. They're gonna uh, be using their robot, so they're not self-healing. So I know I got time. Turn on position so you can see the puppets. I also noticed that um, the painter is Sylvester, uh, IDV2. It's pretty funny, you should watch his videos. He does some pretty original content. That's like genuinely funny. So I go for a guaranteed triple hit combo. But it misses, which sucks. Just sometimes the puppets are a little unreliable. And the clones. I go for a hit, but I I miss it. I almost got him, but you know, painter's painter. He's got his little paintings. I need to give up, give him up, so I don't lose the mechanic. It's crucial that you don't lose your first target as Hellember. If your target, first target, gets away, and they can heal up, you're you're gonna lose, like almost guaranteed. You have to chase your first target down, no matter what. Always secure the kill. Grab my puppet. So now I'm at a kind of a. I don't like this situation. Now I need to find somebody. Throw my puppet. A little off, but it's fine. Pick him up. Chair near the red doll. So now I got the red doll with the chair. First officer. 
Go for a double hit. Why don't you get him? Oh no, the clone hit the chair. Bad move on me. He puts another painting. But that gave me another stack of flame to work with. Good move on Painter. I missed my attack, but he has nowhere to go now. Got him down. First officer breaks my red puppet, which I'm totally fine with. I'm totally fine with him breaking the red puppet because now that means I can have it for later. It means I can use it later. I switch. I, I, my camera face is over there, but I figure that's the explorer and I don't want to go for him. So I chase this first officer. But he's got two pocket watches, so I need to be careful. Do I blink here? I can't remember. Yeah, I get him there. Switch to my puppet. You need to be careful of an explorer going in. Explorer when they're small, they won't be detected by the um, the puppets. So you need to be careful. Clone misses. He does a good dodge. Maybe Sylvester is a little AFK or something. So a puppet trick. And it's GG's. Well, that was, that was a pretty good game that I had. Alright, let's go into the next one. Alright, we got another match. And funnily enough, this one has um, <clears throat> RYS original in it. Which is funny, because I fought two YouTubers back to back, which is funny. This time, still insolence build. I've been running insolence a lot. It's just as good as Trump, but I've been liking the... Uh, I go to the right here. I'm looking to the right, because I know people will rotate to the right. And I make the right call here. I find the seer. I think the seer does a good kite. Should have broke the pallet. The early owls promote Cypher Rush. I'm pretty sure he does a really good kite. But I think I I think I come back or I get a good camp in. I can't remember. But he's at God kiting right now. Like this entire side of the map, that pallet to gray guard is all really good kiting. So right now he's doing a good job. Hit him. I'm trying to, oh wait, wait, I think I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> that was a good trick on me. I thought, I thought he kites me good here, I can't remember. He was about to kite my ass off though, I could tell. This guy knew what he was doing. He was a good kiter. But no, I do a little um, trick with the puppet, try and body block, you get a double hit. Break the connection. Right now, I need to build up a fire. I don't have any fire to camp with, so I need to chase somebody. Like, it doesn't matter if I don't get any free hits or anything, I just need to chase up. I don't see the prospector. He's behind the cipher machine, so I don't notice him. I'm getting tinnitus, so I'm thinking someone's going in for the rescue. Then I lose it, and then I'm like, oh, they're just decoding. I find postman coming in for the rescue. And this hits me with the dog. Right now I'm trying to build up a fire. I need a fire. I think he's gonna uh, mess up there, because, you know, whatever, it's fine. I miss my blink, and I'm like, right now I'm like, oh fuck, Prospect is gonna hit me and stuff. Right now I'm like, oh shit. I'm like thinking, oh man, I'm gonna lose control of the situation. I almost lost control there. If that Prospector kept harassing me, 
like before I got the down. <laughs> that would have been really bad. Thankfully though, the puppet hit him. The puppet hit him as he magneted me, so the puppet got a free hit on him. I put the fire on the doll. And right now I need to find somebody and down them really quick or they're gonna cipher rush. Let's see. Prisoners DSC two ciphers. Both of these ciphers are almost done. Smack the prisoner. This prospector needs to chill out with the thank yous, man. Uh, I think the I think the puppet glitched on accident. I can't remember where the puppet is. Where's the puppet at? Where's the puppet? Oh yeah, look, see the puppet glitch across the map over there. Which is unfortunate. I was trying to um go for a puppet trick on the prisoner, but the puppet glitched. You have to be careful of that. Ember's hitbox makes me want to die sometimes, man. Like, if I was any other hunter, you know, that would have been fine. Smack the prisoner. I'm at a tight spot right now. They got two ciphers almost primed. They're close together. But what I have is that they're both injured, so I need to make this count. So that's primed. And I got two people going for the rescue. So I need to play this carefully. I immediately down because I know they can't do anything. Fire on the puppet. Yeah, there we go. Pick him up. Buy me some time. I put a clone down so they can't do anything. I think I was trying to blink there. I blink on this guy though. Now it's GG's. Smack. Super close at the end there, but Hallenberg can lock down a cipher very well with the puppets if you have them available and fire at hand. Really close there at the end, but I was able to secure that area down. And the fact they were all injured was a good situation for me, but it was really close. But um, see you guys next time.